स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया Welcome students. In today's class, we are going to solve the Poisson equation. So essentially, if you remember, Poisson equation. Okay. So let's say that you have this equation: Laplacian of u equals to f, yeah, in omega. And what is omega? Of course, omega is assumed to be open and connected. Open and connected, okay. And minus Laplacian of u equals to s in omega. This is the problem which is called the Poisson equation, right? Now, how do you solve this problem? To do this, we are going to start with something called a fundamental solution. Yeah, we are going to start, solve the homogeneous problem. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah. So essentially, we are going to find something called a fundamental solution. Fundamental solution, okay. Now, so. what is a fundamental solution uh, we will explain all of that yeah later but for now uh, what we are going to do is we just i mean without thinking much yeah we want to solve this equation laplacian of u equals to 0 here yeah? we want to solve this equation and uh, solving this equation i mean you can think of it right now as i mean we are solving it in omega which is in rn okay let's just do that yeah once we do that then we will i mean from there we will go on yeah? uh, about uh, solving the poisson equation so how to solve this equation see in one of the problems in the assignment if you can uh, i mean figure it out there is a problem where you are asked to show that the laplace equation is invariant under translation so essentially you see laplace equation laplace equation okay is invariant is invariant Under trans, under sorry, rotation. Obviously, it is invariant under translation, but it is invariant under rotation. What does that mean? It means that uh, let's say, um, I mean, if you have a coordinate axis and if you rotate it, uh, I mean, through some angle, whatever it is, yeah, let's say some angle theta in the new coordinate axis. Okay, so let's say u is defined here in the new coordinate axis. Uh, that's your v. Yeah? So this is the, this is the new coordinate axis after a um, rotation theta. it should not look like this i mean you do realize there is a change in theta angle okay uh, but the point is this so for that uh, change u may get changed to v okay but in this coordinate let's say if laplacian of u equals to 0 then in the new coordinate also laplacian of so um, u is getting changed to v right yeah so laplacian v will also be zero so basically if u is harmonic v is also harmonic under a rotation okay so uh, since this is um, i mean invariant laplace equation is invariant under rotation what we can think of is we can look for see this problem as you know that there are many solutions for this problem right for example uh, if you take the coordinate axis so u of x1 x2 xn let's say you take any x y any coordinate function yes yeah? then laplacian u is equals to zero any linear function so let's say x1 plus x2 plus x10 if you are taking that will also solve this problem any constant will solve this problem yeah but we want something more fundamental more you know non trivial let's say yeah so how do you get it so basically we are looking for huh, let's put it this way we are looking for looking for for solutions solutions which are radial clear yeah. which are radial why we are certainly looking for radial solutions because we know that the laplace equation is uh, invariant at a rotation so if you rotate the um, this u yeah the resulting function which you are going to get out of the new coordinates that is also solves the laplace equation and hence i mean you can think of the solutions the problem should admit radial solutions right okay radial solutions if you do um, i mean what are radial solutions uh, i'm i'm sure you guys know but still let me just write it down so by radial solution by radial solution solution we mean we mean u of x must look like some v of r okay where 
r equals to mod x yeah so basically the radial solutions um, are those solutions so essentially u should look like so basically u of x should look like u of mod x you understand okay so essentially for example let's say ux equals to mod x if i am taking hmm? mod x squared let's just take that yeah so that's a simple problem so u from where to where this is, this is from r into r that's your u right yeah so do you think this is a radial function of course it is radial function because u of x you can write it like uh, u of x and u of mod x are essentially same right i mean uh, so it's not u of mod it will be some function v of uh, it will be some function v of mod x okay v of so uh, this is just uh, abuse of notation we should not write it like this so it is basically um, u of x is v of mod x some other function v of mod x and what is v here so where v of r let's say yeah r is mod x i'm writing v of r is r square right yeah and where uh, so basically what it says is this function yeah so essentially essentially what radian function one of the properties one of the properties of radial function of radial function is is the following huh? uh, so i am not writing the following uh, so radial function radial function functions are these are constants constants along del b let's say zero r okay this is one uh, so basically if you take if you think of uh, i mean let's say radial functions in rn right yeah you are taking radial functions of rn you take the point uh, origin and uh, if you take the origin and think of a uh, you know ball uh, the disk yeah let's say in two dimension you think of the disk you take the boundary of the disk so basically mod y x minus y is r so this distance in r if it is radial then this function this is basically uh, the function has to take a constant value over this ball again if you are taking another ball it will take another value but that will be constant so basically on this ball let's say the value is 1 i am i'm just giving you one example on this ball is 1 again this ball it can be 2 but the thing is over the ball you take any point on the ball huh, it is always going to be same yeah but when you change the ball it of course changes but uh, do understand what i'm trying to say okay so on the boundary Uh, so they are going to be constants. Okay, so let's find uh, some uh, solutions here, huh? some uh, functions. So essentially, what are we going to do? We are looking for, we are looking for, looking for u of x, which looks like v of r. Clear? V of r. Okay, and what is r? Where, as I have already mentioned, r equals to mod of x. So what is it? so this is x1 square plus x2 square plus xn square whole power half yeah it's just a norm of uh, x essentially yeah and and of course we choose v such that laplacian of v laplacian is equal to zero and v is such that laplacian of u is zero okay so essentially uh, we are assuming that u is a solution of the laplace equation and uh, since u x equals to v r then we choose v such that this will happen huh? so if we do that then uh, so let's write this equation yeah see this equation is in terms of u let's write it in terms of v and see what happens so if we do that first of all a little change of variable r with respect to x y if we differentiate r with respect to x y that will be half x1 square x2 square 2 xi right so that will give you xi by all of these yeah all of this, sorry this is minus half yeah that's a half is there so half minus 1 is minus half times 2 xi so uh, this is 1 by x1 square plus x2 square a plus x2 square whole power half which is r clear Okay, of course we are assuming that x non-zero. We are assuming that, yeah. Okay, so once we have this thing, there's the the u xi. Okay, see 
Here I have to find u x i x i. Then they have to sum it up, right? What is Laplacian? If you remember, Laplacian of u is equal to summation u x i x i, right? So first of all, I find u x i and then again differentiate it and get u x i. So u x i, let's calculate that first. What is it? Yeah, this is chain rule. It is v prime of r r x i, right? Which is x i by r. Clear? So that is there. Now and and u x i x i is equals to v double prime of r okay x i square by r square plus v prime of r 1 by r minus x i square by r cube yeah so how am i getting it it's very easy yeah you take this uh, particular thing, you differentiate it. So, so let's, let's just differentiate this one. So first of all, leave me through. So basically, I differentiate this thing, leaving this thing aside. So when I differentiate this, it is V double prime of R, and then R xi, and then xi by R remains unchanged, right? So xi by R is there, V double prime of R, and R xi. R xi is xi by R, so that is why V double prime of R, xi square by R square, clear? And again, I leave V prime of R here, and after that, you know, differentiate this thing with respect to x i. So, I, I mean, you do realize that um, first of all, it will be 1 by r, which is coming 1 by r. V prime is common, 1 by r. The differentiation of x i with respect to x i is 1. So, this is why 1 by r minus, again, you keep this thing and differentiate 1 by r. If you differentiate 1 by r, it is minus 1 by r square. And after that, r x i, r x i, x i by r. So, this is minus x i square by r cube. Yes? Okay. So, that is there. So, this holds for i equals to 1 to n. This is for any i equals to 1 to n. I, I, I hope this is very clear here. Huh? This is just chain rule, nothing else. So, by chain rule. Chain rule. Okay. Now, therefore, Laplacian of u is what? Laplacian of u is equals to v. See, this is this. this you take the sum, that's Laplacian of u. So, you take the sum from i equals to 1 to n. What, when you take this, what is happening? This is independent of r, i, this is independent of i, you are getting summation here. So, that r square by r square, that is, becomes v double prime of r. Clear? Plus, v prime of r, let's see what happens here. If you take the sum, 1 by r, if you take, uh, take n sums, it is n by r minus, again, if you take this thing, this is uh, summation x i square is r square by r cube, which is 1 by r. Clear? So, what happens here, if you just write it properly, it is V double prime of R plus uh, N minus 1 by R, V prime of R, okay, and this is equal to 0, yeah, why, because U is harmonic, see, if U is harmonic, Laplacian U equals to 0, Laplacian U is this, so essentially this is, this particular expression is 0, clear, okay, now if I want to say, let's say I want to find that explicit function, right, if I have to find the explicit function, I just have to solve this particular problem, yeah, uh, and uh, do you really know how to solve it, of course we know, because this is just a one variable function, right, this is so beautiful about uh, this uh, changing it to radial function, so here you see this is just a function of one variable r, here, and uh, now I know this is just an OD, which I know how to solve, so let's say if, if v prime is not 0, okay, then you can just solve this problem and you can get log of I, I hope all of you guys can do, uh, I mean, solve this equation, yeah, it's very, it's not very difficult to do, okay, uh, so the derivative of this thing, yeah, this is equals to, I'm just writing it down, yeah, I'm not uh, wasting my time on how to solve this thing, I'm absolutely certain, all of you know this, yeah, I'm just um, solving this problem, yeah, so once I do this, I get this thing, so in terms of V prime, I get this, and for R positive, okay, so please solve this problem and you can get, so this is, you guys have to check it yourself, yeah, I'm not doing this, thing. this is very easy, check it yourself. And for R positive, what do you get? You get V of R, what is V of R? It is essentially, this is in two parts, huh? so A log R plus B, okay, this is for N equals to 2 and uh, you also get A by R power N minus 2 plus B. This is for n greater than equal 3. 
okay so for n equals to t you get a different expression for any greater than equal to 3 you get this expression huh? where a and b are constants where a and b are constants okay this is just an your od usual od yeah uh, so uh, again emphasize please check huh? check i want you to check this and get the answer done now okay so for all physical purposes so we'll define a new thing from here so this is our definition okay so this x function which you got this is a very special function this function the function the function phi of r it is always called phi of r huh? so sorry it's called phi of x huh? uh, so it is c this phi this is like a universal symbol okay whenever i write capital phi of r x like this it is always fundamental solution yeah in this kind of context not in every context i write it like this 1 by minus 2 pi log of mod x okay n equals to 2 and it is 1 by n n minus 2 alpha n 1 by mod x to the power n minus 2 n greater than equal 3 okay so uh, this is defined defined for x in rn minus 0 okay and is called is called the fundamental solution solution of the Laplace equation of the Laplace equation clear so this particular function which you get see this function so let us take some time and understand what is going on here so I have got a u of x which looks like this yeah and I what I am going to do is I am going to define a new function phi yeah capital phi yeah so this capital P will look like so I am taking B to be 0 and A to be minus 1 by 2 pi. There are reasons for doing this thing. Yeah. So um, for now, let's just write it down and we'll later you will see why we can do all that. So minus 1 by 2 pi log of mod x and this is 1 by n alpha n n minus 2 alpha n mod 1 by mod x to the power n minus 2. So this is for n greater than 3. So for these two, you can always see this is also radial function, right? Yeah, this is also a radial function. Yeah, so this kind of thing is called a fundamental solution of the Laplace equation. Now, you can see that as x tends to 0, yeah, as x is near 0, this actually, this blows up, this also at x equals to 0, I mean, of course, it is, this does not blow up, but it is not defined at x equals to 0. Yeah, it is also not defined at x equals to 0. So essentially, if you just leave out the 0 part, uh, this is um, defined everywhere and it solves the Laplace equation everywhere except at 0 and we call this thing as a fundamental solution. Okay. So with this, we are going to end today's lecture.